There he is. This is a deer over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. it's behind those bushes between the yellow and the gray house. There he goes. A little little guy, a little Bambi. One of the residents that have been around here all year. Probably born and raised here. So uh, here we are, beautiful Greenport, New York. And this is Ken and Gilberto and Mitch Goot, my subscriber contest winner. And we have some pretty nice conditions at the moment, praying that they stay this way for as long as possible. And we're gonna try to make the run out to Fishers and see what we can do. All right, so uh, we're psyched. We're just gonna putt out of the harbor here and put the bow up and go. It's a little gray right now, but I don't know. The weather seems like changeable throughout the day. Anyhow, uh, yep, happy to have Mitch with me. Happy to be here. It's really cool. Always happy to have Gilberto on the boat. Mr. Pier Fishing New York. Is it New York Pier Fishing or Pier Fishing New York? Pier Fishing New York. There you go. And he's got a lot of nice videos on there. I encourage everybody to go check it out. I'm in a few of them. And uh, he's got some interesting stuff. He also raises fish. He's got some really cool Oscar feeding videos and that got a lot of views and stuff. I love that stuff myself. All right, y'all. So uh, good to see you all this morning and good to be going out fishing. We're all psyched. We're all ready, the boat's packed, we got our bait, we got gas, we got everything we need. And uh, just hoping the weather holds up so I get a couple of more trips out of this boat this year because the way it's been so cold lately, I'm afraid that uh, this boat may have to get yanked out soon. I hope that's not the case. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, we yank it up, first drop trying to draw some life to us I got a little bit of scratching going on greetings folks I'm uh, glad that you all joined us here today and uh, yeah so this trip was a little tough uh, tougher than all of my recent trips uh, most trips I've been going over there to certain areas and fishers and uh, I've been doing really well jigging in the areas that are really out of the tide and um, you know, always able to get enough keepers to put our limits together and so on, trying for a couple bigger fish in the deeper water. Um, so today, uh, you can see we anchored up here in beautiful flat conditions. We zipped out to the island at about uh, 30 miles an hour, never had a slowdown. It was absolutely beautiful, flat calm. We anchored up here in pretty much the same conditions and uh, trying to find the life, but it took us a while. We had to adjust around. Uh, it just seemed that there were not as many active and interested customers here as there have been in the last month. So uh, it got frustrating, but we definitely did find a few and uh, just stay tuned and watch the action play out. That's gonna keep. Yep. First one in the boat. Well done. Put it on the toggle meter. You don't have to net them, just swing them up. We, we only net big fish here. That looks like it might keep, I'm pretty sure close if anything if they're close put them on the meter oh yeah oh yeah that's 
That's looking good, Gil. Nah, he's there. Yeah. again. Finally. Come on, I don't have to measure. That's like 19, 18? Yeah, a little bit of fish. Eating that one, right? No, I think five. When you're on a charter. If you have your own boat, you're only allowed 10 keepers in the boat. Doesn't matter how many people you got with you. They work here.
Hi guys, so I just want to take a minute to talk about weather and safety when you're out fishing and boating. Um, we uh, moved the boat from our jigging spot, which kind of got cold on us, to a deeper water spot where we were fishing with our conventional gear in the tide. And though it took a while there, we built up a bite and the fish began to come. And uh, Gilberto then caught that big fish. And, you know, when you see one big fish, immediately you're hoping for more. But around 11 a.m., those seas began to build and build. And um, my wind finder forecast, which I checked in the morning again before leaving port, said that it would be around two feet throughout the day. And that uh, wind would come on late afternoon or even early evening, and it came way early. Uh, like I said, it started blowing around 11 a.m., and it just picked up from there. So we had to push home headlong through westerly winds, and um, it was a slow pounding ride. It got scary at times. The water stood up uh, six to eight feet in some places as we were crossing the race. And uh, it was dangerous, and I was concerned, but uh, luckily I know, keep my bow into the wind, into the waves, and, uh, you know, don't allow that boat to breach. Definitely don't turn around. You don't want to take a wave over your stern, especially when you don't have a enclosed transom like me. I have an older style hull. So, uh, you know, experience really pays off in these situations. Um... But again, weather can be unpredictable. Uh, it came much earlier than it was forecast to. And uh, that's when you have to make the hard choice. When you see it blowing up like that, and for the safety of yourself, your boat, and your passengers, you have to say, sorry guys, um, I know we're catching fish, but we gotta pull the plug. We gotta pull the anchor and run for safety. And that's exactly what happened here. So, um, you know, always keep that in mind when you're out on the water fishing. Um, as much as it broke my heart to leave those biting fish, we had to do what we had to do.